we're on the Murrow, man. It's uh, early spring. Uh, the biggest fish come in this time of the year. And you know it is. You get some and you lose some. But one thing that can be really annoying is when your tackle can't handle the situation. And one thing that is very important when it comes to your tackle and your gear is your knots. A bad knot will break or you, you're you left there with the big fish that just disappeared from you and the only thing you have is a curly part of your leader. It's the worst thing. I'm gonna do a small series of films here. Six small films explaining six knots. Uh, six knots that I use that's been good for me for many many years and uh, maybe you have a knot you need to change or you're insecure in, uh, in what knots to use in different situations. So um, I hope this will give you some knots that you really can trust that will really give you uh, a good confidence in your fishing. Fantastic fish, maybe eight nine kilos uh, from pool one on Murrum. Uh, not not the tail. This was I caught this uh, under the trees on the border between one and two. Fish my float to four on a six piece Alexi uh, with a fairly big Patagora. Tried to square it, get a good belly and a good speed, and it just nailed it. Uh, so, my first salmon uh, from April uh, from the Murrum, so happy guy now. The first knot I'm going to show you is the perfection knot. This is a loop that is very good. I use it for my uh, shooting uh, lines to, to create the loop that will connect to my, my shooting heads. I uh, use it on in I use it in many ways in different situations. The only thing you have to be really careful with is not to use the perfection loop on thin nylon or fluorocarbon because it's a cutting knot. It will cut itself and it will end up in disaster. But besides that, it's a super good knot that is strong and easy to make. I'll show you. So, uh, let's do a perfection here now and do it first on a fly line. Makes it a little easier for you to see. What I do is that I first create the loop where the loose end comes under the loop. I then create another second loop around that one. Take the loose end and slide it in between the loops and I go up under the first loop and pick up the second one like this and just pull it. The perfection loop. Very simple. If you've done it right the loose end comes out in the middle. This is a loop that I use on fly lines quite a bit. If I need to create a loop for shooting head for instance. A little trick is first you not need to take away the coating. I take a piece of nylon, create a loop, slide in the fly line and then I just strip off the coating. Very very handy little trick. To do the knot on the core is the same. Create the loop where the loose end comes at under, the second loop around, slide in the loose end in between, go in and pick up the second through the first and pull it. Very very simple. The good thing with this on a loop on a fly line like this is that you can cut it very very close. I use perfection also on my shooting line. 
I use Compline and most of the time the 50 pound one. The knot is absolutely the same but the only difference is that the end needs to be longer. I would like to create a very big loop so I start by pulling out about 30 centimeters before I create the first little loop underneath. The second one that comes around is bigger. The loose end slides in between like before and then I take this big one and I put it through the small one just like before and I let go and pull it and I have made a perfection. Compline is good because I can wet this a little bit and then I can pull it super hard I can then cut it very very close so I don't get an end that will interfere in my guides. Here I have a big loop where I can slide my reel or my shooting spool, shooting head spool through and I can change lines very easy. Fast and very reliable.